Hi, my name is Teresa Orton, and I'm the director of the Pioneer Museum, owned and operated by the Daughters of Utah Pioneers in St. George. Our museum was built in 1938 when the generous donation by Hortense McQuarrie Odlum made that possible. Unlike many other Pioneer Museums, ours was built to be a museum and was put in a place of honor next to the Pioneer Courthouse in downtown St. George. The Smithsonian exhibit, Crossroads, Changes in Rural America, is really about the early pioneer settlers and their struggle to survive and create thriving settlements in Southern Utah. Many aspects of their lives were about changes and how they could improve their lives. In our museum, we have many examples of items used in everyday life that were changed and adapted for improvement by both men and women. Sewing bees and quilting is a good example of how important it was for women to gather together to work on projects to improve their lives and teach valuable life skills to the young women and children. Quilting has been around for hundreds of years, but was used for very practical purposes, like saddle blankets, window coverings, blankets, and the like. They usually were not very artistic, and when worn out, patched repeatedly. In the early pioneer settlements, women would gather for a sewing bee or quilting bee to work on a quilt or a project for members of the group. They would use this time to teach the younger girls ways to improve their sewing skills. But just imagine the scene with several women and young girls all working away, and what would they be doing but talking and visiting? Now it would not all have been gossiping about their neighbors, but discussing ways to solve problems of the community. Many young wives learned many ways to manage a home and children from the more experienced ladies in the quilting circle. Society rules were established and accepted as well as advanced onto younger children. Without this bond that women would have formed, it is highly likely that many settlements would have failed. It would have taken a great deal of effort by all members of the community to ensure survival in such a hostile environment. A great example of the work of a quilting circle is at our museum called the Friendship Quilt. It is made from silk scraps of material that were made by the ladies who manufactured silk fabric. Each piece is a random shape and embroidered and decorated by the lady who donated it with her name. It was stitched together and then sold at auction to make money to help the sick and poor in 1896 to a man from American Fork. In about 1935, Hortense McQuarrie Odlum, who lived in New York City, was invited to a friend's home and saw the quilt on a guest bed. The first thing she saw was her mother's name. So the lady gave the quilt to Hortense, who in 1938, when our museum was dedicated, donated it to the museum. It is currently on display in room seven. Please come and visit our museum soon.